Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a 30 day outlook for the sign of Pisces. These messages will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into your reading Pisces and see what spirit has for you. So Spirit, what overall message do you have for Pisces? Okay. So I have strength and guidance and clear cancel and release. Spirit says have the strength to walk away. So for this 30 days, Pisces, this is going to be about you um, really tapping into your inner strength to walk away from a situation. I heard connection. So for... Some of you, this is about a relationship, walking away, releasing someone um, out of your life, out of your energy. I heard toxic. So Spirit is saying like this person is very toxic, um, like uncaring. They're very uncaring. They um, really do not care about your feelings. They don't put your needs first. Um, they're in a very selfish energy. It's like everything is about them. And it's like they're only concerned about what is going to make them happy so it's like they're really not for your highest good and they really um are not able to give you what you desire when it comes to a connection when it comes to commitment and the spirit says like raise your standards pisces so it's like it's time for you to like raise your standards it's time for you to know your worth yes clear cancel and release it's time for you to clear this person out of your energy, out of your space to cancel them completely so that you can finally release them for good and walk away. So let's get some more messages. I have the Six of Wands in the reverse. I have the Six of Cups. I have the Moon in the reverse. And I have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, Pisces. I feel like right now with the Six of Wands in the reverse, you're, you're not happy. You're not seeing this relationship have, be successful. It's like you're not getting what you want. You're not getting what you desire. Yeah. Like this relationship is not healthy. And this person, they're not capable. They're not capable of providing you with fulfillment because they're not in the energy to do so like this person i heard like conceited for some of you this person's very conceited like all they care about is themselves literally and it's like you're an afterthought most of the time so this person is not in a space where they can give you the love the affection the attention that you need and then with the six of cups i heard long time for some of you you've been in this relationship world for a long time or you have been dealing with this person for a long time i heard off and on so some of you may have been off and on um when it comes to this connection and it's like you keep on repeating the same cycle and so that's why spirit is telling you to be strong yes pull from that inner strength because spirit is trying to guide you into a new direction away from this person and with the moon in the reverse i feel like something has been revealed to you about this person but it's like you continue to stay you continue to remain in this connection yes you continue to stay and you continue to remain in this connection for some of you i feel like with this Eight of Pentacles, Spirit says this person is not invested. So no, Pisces, this person is not invested when it comes to this connection. And I heard someone else, for some of you, this person is not invested in your relationship or when it comes to the connection you have with them because they're giving to someone else. 
So let's clarify the messages. Spirit clarified the Six of Wands in the reverse. I have the Four of Wands. Yes, you want a fulfillment. You want a fulfillment with this person. But it's like you're not getting what you want. It's like you're never going to get this Four of Wands. With this person, they can't give that to you because they're not in a place where they can do that for you. Where they can provide you with the life that you desire. This person is unable to give you what you want, Pisces. They're unable to give you your fulfillment. Let's get a message for the Six of Cups. And for some of you, I heard marriage. So some of you may be married to this person and it's like things are just not working out. Um, you're not getting the, result, the results that you desire when it comes to this connection, this relationship. Yeah, and I heard a long time for some of you, you've been married to this person for a very long time, years. And it's like you continue to be unsatisfied when it comes to the relationship. I have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, this is a very unstable connection. And again, I heard toxic. This is a very unstable and toxic connection. It's like, yes, you've been with this person for years. Yes, you have history. But what's history when you're not happy? What's history when you're in a toxic relationship? What's history when this person is not giving you what you want? Where their body may be there, but their mind and their heart is somewhere else or with someone else. So let's get a message for the moon in the reverse. Three of swords in the reverse. Yes, for some of you, you found out that this person was with somebody else. That they were dealing with another person, possibly multiple people. Yes, you found out that you were not the only one, Pisces. So let's get a message for the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. I have the Fool. Yeah, this person is dealing with someone else. And whoever it is that they are um, connected to. They're ready to invest. Like, I feel like this person may be ready to invest or ready to start a new life with another person. Yes, that's what spirit is telling me, Pisces. This person is with somebody else and they're ready to start a new life with this person. Or they may have already started a new life. Yes, they may already have started a new life with this person. I heard children, so... Maybe um, they have children with this person. This could be someone from their past um, that they're going back to in order to reconcile. But it's like they are headed into a new direction and it's like they want to invest somewhere else. Like they do not want to pour into the connection that they have with you, Pisces. They want to give their time and their energy to someone else. So Pisces, it is time for you to completely cancel this person, cancel this relationship because spirit has better for you. So let's look at your career. So spirit, what can Pisces expect for their career and finances? Okay, I have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, Spirit keeps saying like they're with somebody else. So they're definitely with someone else. And I heard intuition, premonition. So I feel like you may have had a premonition of this. Maybe um you had a dream, um, a vision, 
and spirit showed you that this person was involved with another person, possibly even having um, a family, you know, that you don't even know about. So spirit is definitely guiding you. Spirit is giving you the signs that you need um, in order for you to completely distance yourself from this connection. I have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And I have the page of pentacles. Okay. I feel like for some of you, there may be like some instability when it comes to your career. Um, you may be unsure with this Knight of Swords, like which direction to go in. Um, I heard like change. So maybe some of you are thinking about changing your career. Um, trying something new, trying something different because you're no longer satisfied where you are and yeah her walking away for others of you i feel like yeah you're going to be walking away um from a job and pursuing something new possibly getting a new job or this could be you investing into some type of project or some type of endeavor for others of you but i definitely see either a career change or you just completely walking away from your current place of employment to um, pursue something different, whether that's another job, um, whether you are going to be getting I heard hired. So yeah, some of you are going to be getting um, a new place of employment or will be gaining new employment, I should say. And for others of you, I feel like this is more of some type of creative project, some type of endeavor that you're going to be investing in. So let's see what self-care message Spirit has for you. I have Connect with Crystals. So yes, um, for some of you, definitely it is important for you or it is going to be important for you within the next 30 days for you to really um, connect with Crystals, do meditations with your Crystals. Um, just to really, you know, calm your energy and so that you can be completely tapped into spirit and receive the guidance that you need to. And then I have read. Yes, reading. Um, I heard journaling. For some of you, spirit is saying it's important for you to journal, to really write down um, your thoughts, um, the things that you're feeling, your emotions. I also heard dreams. For others of you, um, spirit is saying um, it's important for you to write down your dreams. Um, it's something that's going on when it comes to you, um, your dreams, when you're in a dream state. Spirit is trying to divulge information to you. And so it's important for you to write down what you dreamed about in order to um, really get a clear picture of what Spirit is trying to tell you. So let's get one more message. I have, when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. So yes, taking action from a place of peace rather than control. Yes, it's like when releasing this person from a place of peace, like just having the understanding that, you know what, even though it may be difficult, even though it may be challenging, yes, you have feelings for this person. Yes, you love this person, but you know, ultimately, that this is the best thing for you. And it's like by you trying to stay into this um, relationship, you're trying to control. You're trying to control the narrative of your life. And Spirit is saying, no, there's no need to try to control. You're trying to hold on to something that no longer benefits you. You're trying to remain in control, but Spirit is asking you to release control so that you can not act from a place of peace. So that you can finally release this person out of your energy. 
and move on. Yes. And I feel like for others of you, spirit says career. Yes, it says when I merge my desire with faith, spirit is asking you to have faith. I heard endeavor again. Yes, endeavor. It's like whatever this project is that you're working on, if you want to start a business, whatever your passion, your desire is, Spirit is asking you to have faith. Have faith that this is going to prosper. Believe in yourself. Believe in your talents. Believe in your abilities. So I hope that these messages resonate and stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.